A secret prison built inside a military base sits on the Eritrean coastline. These satellite images obtained as part of an Al Jazeera investigation appear to show the prison built across 400 square metres in the port city of Assab. In 2015, the United Arab Emirates signed a 30-year lease to use the port, and since then, it's provided a strategic advantage for the Gulf nation's involvement in the war in Yemen. The UAE has used the Assad port to send military gear and soldiers to Yemen, while using its facilities to hold prisoners of war. All of these massive um these detention centers that the UAE have built up in Yemen as well as potentially now in Assab and in Eritrea are black sites. They're part of black operations. They don't appear on maps. Um, they're military installations which are secretive even for most people in the UAE military. Um, they're run mostly by surrogates, so by private, either by mercenaries or by local forces that they train and equip. Allegations have been raised about widespread torture and abuse taking place in a network of secret prisons in Yemen, all run by the UAE. It's detained hundreds of Yemeni rebel fighters and rights groups reported that some of them have been transferred to Eritrea. The UAE has rejected these allegations, saying they're politically motivated to undermine its efforts to support the Yemeni government. The issue is uh, would uh, organizations like the International Committee of the Red Cross have access to those prisoners to verify the conditions under which they've been kept? Uh, would um, there be sufficient transparency as to who is, who is kept there um, and uh, under what terms eventually prisoners of war would be released? Eritrea's Assad port is near a busy commercial shipping lane on the way to the Suez Canal. But so far, the UAE's only development there has been military. Laura Burden Manley, Al Jazeera.